Princeton Seminary was founded in 1812. Mm -hmm. And in the 1870s, there was a donor who said, well, I will donate money. His name was Stone, mm -hmm. L.P. Stone. And he said, I will donate money if you organize a lecture on the Reformed Presbyterian tradition on an annual basis. You invite someone, you invite him to give five, six or seven lectures. Uh, and we do that every year. Um, and that started in the 1870s. And it's still going on. There are still uh, annual stone lecture series at Princeton Theological Seminary. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so Abram Kuyper was invited in the mid 1890s um, uh, by Princeton Theological Seminary. And uh, well, the man behind this idea was Gerhardus Voss, mm -hmm. who had become a professor in Princeton in 1893. Um, Gerhardus Voss um, <clears throat> was from the Netherlands, as you know, and he studied at. Uh, uh, what's now called Calvin Theological Seminary. And then he went to Princeton and then he went back to Europe uh, to earn his PhD mm -hmm. in Strasbourg. And when he was working there in Strasbourg, um, that is uh, around 1886, so he was about 24 years old at that time, um, Abram Kuyper uh, <coughs> learned to know him and offered him a professorship at the Freie Universiteit Amsterdam. A professorship in the Old Testament. And um, Gerardus Vaas, who was befriended with Herman Bavink, talked this over with Herman. And well, Gerardus said, Yes, I'd like to have that job. <laughs> and his parents, who lived in Grand Rapids at that time, said, No, Gerardus, we want you as a professor in our small seminary. You have to build up that seminary. So I won't allow you to become a professor at Kuipers Free University. So then he said, uh, sorry, thank you for the offer. And uh, yes, I accepted the offer, but my parents say uh, I have to come back to, to, to go back home and become a professor at uh, Calvin. So he did. And he was a bit disappointed at first, but uh, and he had, <clears throat> uh, he had to, the opportunity to develop himself, especially when he went, of course, to Princeton as, as a real academic theologian. Um, but well, he still reminded his days with Bavink and Kuiper, and he still appreciated their ideas very much. And he thought, well, they should be introduced to the United States. And I will talk this over with Benjamin Warfield, who was, the, of course, the primus inter pares mm -hmm. uh, at Princeton Theological Seminary. And Warfield, who, who uh, of course, was very well informed about the reformed community worldwide said oh yes i know that name so let's let let's do that gerhard so you write him a letter and invite him to come over and give the stone lectures in 1896 kuiper got that letter um, but he had to turn that down this this invitation because he was involved in all kinds of trouble in his reformed churches and he said well i i, I cannot leave now maybe next year but next year, there were elections for the parliament. <laughs> and I, I cannot come because I have to lead the campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he promised, well, in 1898, I will come. And that was, that was interesting that he did go then, because in that year, in September 1898, Queen Wilhelmina was crowned, was enthroned, and he was um, now the first member of, of the parliament. So he should be there. There were only two people not present at the enthronement. That was Abram Kuyper, and that was a socialist who who was against the House of Lords. <laughs> so he didn't come, and Kuyper didn't come. Well, and 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 it it was it was seen in the Netherlands as an offense. But he was on his boat to fulfill his promise, which which had been delayed for two years already. So he he was on his boat uh, on 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 the way to New York and to Princeton to deliver the lectures. So if, even his even his wife said, uh, uh, because he he sent a telegram to to Wilhelmina to congratulate her. The telegram was in the newspaper, of course. But even his wife said, Abram, I don't think it was very wise to leave at this time. Yeah. But but he went. So in so in 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 1898 in October 1898 he uh, he landed in Princeton and he gave there those six stone lectures on 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 Calvinism. 